Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, we meet one of the worst bad guys in the history of Miami Vice in the episode Junk Love. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from November 3rd to November 9th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 6th, the M-19 Marxist guerrilla stormed the Palace of Justice in Bogota, Colombia. The 27-hour siege would end with 98 people dead, including almost half of the Colombian Supreme Court. On November 9th, Garry Kasparov became the youngest chess champion ever at just 22 years old. Winning 13-10 against Anatoly Karpov in the 24th game, this chess championship is one of the greatest matches in modern history. Kasparov would go on to be considered perhaps the greatest chess player of all time. In music, I've been waiting for this week since the inception of the show. The number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 is the one, the only, the classic and greatest theme song ever, the Miami Vice theme song. Written and performed by Jan Hammer, the Miami Vice theme would win two Grammys and the soundtrack would chart for 11 weeks. I encourage you to listen to our Jan Hammer spectacular on Go With The Heat to find out all the amazingness that was Jan Hammer. In theaters, the action thriller Death Wish 3 starring Charles Bronson would take the top spot. The film is what Bronson does best, cleaning up the streets of New York and bringing justice to young thugs. I have to admit, I haven't seen this movie in many, many years. The real story of Death Wish is canon films though. Canon has produced many of my favorite B-movies including this film, Breakin', Last American Virgin, Delta Force, and Cobra. They, were the, they weren't the hero we need, but the hero we deserve. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat. This week's episode tackles a controversial topic in a very Miami Vice way. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, heat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.